Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up, everyone? It's OJ. We've got the Goblin Barrel Draft Challenge at 13 wins. You get the legendary chest at 15 wins. You get this exclusive, exclusive for three months, Goblin Barrel Emote. Now, I'm 19 out of 20 fishermen. I just need one more. Hopefully, this last one is a legendary fisherman in this chest. The Goblin Barrel Draft Challenge is pick Goblin Barrel Counters. Fireball is pretty decent for that. Goblin Gang can counter the barrel. So can the Valkyrie. Let's go for the Dark Prince because I gave him a Skarmy. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't rush tanks. Not, not until you know. Oh dear. Bad placement. I meant to put the Valkyrie right behind there. Um, I'm still rushing. I'm still rushing a Lava Hound. We're doing it. We did it. Don't do Lava Hound until you actually know what they have. I'm going to go for Dark Prince in the back. He's going to wind up for a nice juicy charge. And then I'm going to go for a fireball right on that magic archer so it doesn't touch my Lava Hound too, too much. Okay, I've got a roll giant. That's new to me. <laughs> Lava Hound's pretty much at full health. Pretty good. Dark Prince is coming up. Tanking for the Lava Pups. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm doomed. I wasted a lot of elixir in that push. I'm doomed. I'm doomed. He knows I have fireball, so he's not going to put it in the back anymore. I can take out that magic archer with minions or mega minion, either or. Boom. And I don't have any solid goblin barrel counters in rotation right now. The goblin gang will be a pretty good counter for that. Roll ghost though. We don't have buildings. It seems like he can't, he's going to have uh, trouble taking out the roll giant there. So, a couple free hits here, a couple free hits there. And that's juicy. And then I go for a Dark Prince in the back. It's going to charge up real quick. Right as it charges onto the ghost. Beautiful timing. Take out the princess. That's fine. Yeah, this is the good stuff now. He will have Goblin Barrel. And I have Goblin Gang and Valkyrie for that. I might do Valkyrie if he does that. You got to be very reactive though with the Valkyrie's new range. It's, it's so wimpy. I can get the... Oh, yeah. That one freaking goblin, though. Oh my goodness. Can we can we get rid of all... World Giant get one hit. Okay. Thank goodness I have Goblin Gang to stop that. And then I'm, I'm going to take out that princess. Let's go for a Dark Prince. Nope. Nope. Dark Prince won't be quite enough. Yeah, let's take over that magic archer, and we're gonna play it safe. He's gonna rotate my goblin gang on the backside. Look, look at that. Completely surrounds it, and I had fireball and rotation for that. Oh, even I don't have that limited emote yet. Okay, grand finale. We're 13-0 in this. We totally didn't reset for this video. <laughs> we need a fisherman. I said we needed a fisherman supercell. Did you hear me? That's okay. We're at 13-0. Pick Goblin Barrel counters. Ooh, Goblin Giant's so good, though. Arrows counter the, the Goblin Barrel. Barbarians counter the Barrel. Fire Spirits counter the Barrel pretty well, too. And plus, the Fire Spirits counter the Barbarians very well. Okay, what the heck do I have? I've got Rascals. I've got Zappies. I've got Barbarians. Oh, dear. Right off the bat, he's going in for Lava Hound. This guy, this guy knows what's up. Maybe I'll go for a Goblin Giant. Yeah, we'll go for a Goblin Giant. Take out that uh, Lava Hound a little bit faster. Here's what we do though, is put down the Ice Golem so it tanks for the Lava Pups, because the Rascal Girls aren't quite enough firepower. Not quite. I don't have arrows, but I do have fire spirits, and it does just as good as of a job. If I had more elixir, I would have had more time to deal with it. But that one rascal girl takes out that flying machine. That's exactly what I need, because I don't really have much to take out the flying machine right now. Um, is he going to rush another lava hound? I triple doggy dare him to rush a lava hound. He's got a lava hound in the back. Then I'm going to go for the magic archer. All right. He does have snowball. Or is it zap? I forgot what I gave him for the arrows. Let's take it easy on here. Maybe a goblin giant so that he doesn't touch my... I said so that he doesn't touch my magic archer! Oh, dang it! 
Stalemate, fine. Okay, the Lava Hound needs to pop. Then we're gonna tank with the Barbarians. And the Barbarians are gonna take out those Elite Barbs. Pretty, pretty sweet deal. Now I've got three full health Zappies. He will have the Barrel. Do I need it though? Do I need, do I need anything for that? Yeah, no, I'm gonna ignore it for now. Let's go for a Magic Archer in the very back. Take it real nice and easy. Ice Golem to tank for the Witch. Go for a really big push now. This is where we shine. We got Zappies, we got Magic Archer, we have the Goblin Giant for everything. Oh my goodness. He's got Cannon Cart. Then I'm gonna go for the Rascal Boy. He's got no spells. He's got no spells. We stack everything. Snowball's not gonna stop it. Let's just arrows all of that. Get the witch out of the way. We got two magic archers right now. Two magic archers. I'm gonna, and I'm a little worried because nothing. Oh. My goodness. That flying machine. I need to get rid of it with the fire spirits. Uh, I don't have anything for the goblin barrel. I'm worried. Let's go for the Goblin Giant to protect that Magic Archer. I do have arrows. There we go. Goblin Giant connects. I still need to address that way. Oh, Magic Archer pierces through everything. That's so lovely. I need to put down the Magic Archer right at the bridge there. Maybe an Ice Golem there. Is that going to be a stalemate with the flying machine? No, the flying machine wins. Okay. Okay. Um, if he has the goblin barrel, I'm doomed. But he doesn't. Okay, then we'll do rascals in the front. Maybe... Oh, dear. What went wrong? I had nothing to, to penetrate it. It's fine. It's our, it's our first... Lo loss of the day. <laughs> Fire spirits counter goblin bro. Why not? I like poison better because I gave him Skarmy. I do like witch better in draft challenges and wizard because he has got Skarmy and all of that. So I gave him the rocket. I just have to be mindful not to stack my witch and wizard too, too much. He can rocket the beginning if he wants, but that's all on him. If he rockets my witch, he's not going to have anything to support that lava hound. If it even is in rotation. Let's go for minions in the back there, and then Valkyrie to tank for my Witch. Let's see how that goes. Yep, nope, nope. That roll go that Magic Archer is unacceptable right now. I need to take him out with a Roll Ghost. And I need to go for a Wizard on the left side. Oh my goodness, I took with the tower already? <laughs> roll Ghost connects! Woo! I'm feeling good about this. Oh my goodness, he put a Mega Minion on top of that wizard. Positive trades all day, every day. Go for a witch in the very back so she can slowly build in her skeleton, so it can slowly trickle in. And maybe a poison there to take out that little princess. Uh, let's get rid of that magic archer. Oh yeah, nice. Valkyrie, the, n nothing stands a chance against the Valkyrie. I shouldn't have done that skeleton barrel. That was a massive waste of elixir. Or was it? It got like six stabs in the tower. That's not bad. Okay. My hands weren't on. Oh, thank goodness he did a weird placement. Positive trade right there. Six for two. <clears throat> and now it's double elixir. He will have rocket. He should rocket my witch. That'd be value for him. Don't stack things too closely. Yeah, rocket the witch. Now I've got the wizard in the back. It's time to tango. Cha-cha-cha. Nope, we're going for the poison there. Maybe a royal ghost on top of that princess. Yeah. Wait, what? Did I lose that? I lost that interaction. Oh, dang it. He's slowly getting through. Nope. 
Let's poison that magic archer. Okay. Get that down. Valkyrie to tank for the witch and all that noise. Yeah. No, he can't. He can't. He can't do anything on this. Zappies die. Come on, get the tower. Get the tower. Get the death. I'm trying to farm my gold pass or my season pass, whatever it is. We're at 14. Zero. I like the giant better. Goblin gang counters the goblin barrel. Goblins counter the goblin barrel. Goblin cage is one of the highest win rate cards in the game right now. So why wouldn't you pick the goblin cage? Plus, expo is a little bit harder to play if you don't have a very specific expo. Oh my gosh. He gave me earthquake when I gave him expo. He's doomed. He's so doomed. I might just do like a giant right on top of that. Why not? We're gonna go E-Barbs for the Rascals. Way too aggressive. Way, way too aggressive, but was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna defend all this with the Goblin Cage. Just wait for it. I didn't have Goblin enough Elixir for a Goblin Gang, so I just went Goblins. Eh, not the best. I lost a thousand damage to my tower. <laughs> not my proudest moment. We're gonna recover from this. Let's go for an Ice Wizard in the back. Maybe a Knight in the front to take out the Rascal Girls. Alright. Giant in the back for that Ice Wizard. Goblin Gang to save my Ice Wizard. To save my Ice Wizard. To save my Ice Wizard. Alright, it forced him to use Poison. That's not bad. He's got barrel. Alright. Stop the wizard. Yep. Nice. That was weird. I only did the goblin cage because I knew I couldn't afford anything else. He's kind of scared to use expo. He knows I have earthquake, but it's going to be double elixir. That's his time to shine with expo, but I have giant. I have knight. I have so many things for it. Ice wizard's going to take out those bats. This time, I'm going to change it up. Go e barbs. They one shot those rascals. Boom. I'm gonna go for the Goblin Gang on, on that side. I'm gonna Earthquake those Spear Goblins now. Goblins connect on the right side. Giant's doing a lot of damage on that side. I'm waiting for the barrel. Nope, all right. I need my Earthquake. Right on top of the Earthquake, too. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we need right now. Goblin Brawl. Oh, Goblin Brawl and E-Barb does not connect. Goblin Barrel. I'm, I'm scared. I'm worried. Nope. That's going to be a bit of damage on there. Okay, he's going for the poison. He's panicking. He's panicking. Is he going to Expo to pull my giant? He expo to pull my giant. You know it's bad. Giant's gonna get one punch. Whoop -ah! There we go. He just had a bad set of cards for that. There's no way he would have known I gave him Expo for that, but we got the limited emote. Sorry, it's not limited, it's exclusive. For three months, and then it'll appear in the shop. Let's check it out real quick. <coughs> gotta flex it, gotta flex it in the clan. <coughs> Boom, that's it. The goblin barrel emote. For the Goblin Barrel Draft Challenge, it's basically like any other challenge. Just kind of talk your way through it. With the exception that you know that someone's always going to have a Goblin Barrel. So it's always good to take Goblin Barrel counters because if you get the Goblin Barrel, they won't have the Goblin Barrel counter. If they take the Goblin Barrel, you have the counter to their Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrel, Goblin Barrel, Goblin Barrel. And of course, if you're struggling with it, the, I, I can't emphasize this enough. The Pass Rel is such, such, such good value if you're not able to get it on the first try, especially if it's 50 or 100 gems to re-enter for that. It's a pretty decent value, especially based on the fact that this challenge has two legendary chests and all, all those rewards. It pays for itself. One of the best values in the game next to like a grand challenge entry. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Good luck in the challenges and stay tuned for more quality OJ.